The Create Layouts Toolbox in Hatch has a variety of tools for arranging designs to create unique compositions. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll take a quick look at some of the possibilities for using the layout tools. This snowflake design, which is in the Hatch library, was created using the Circle Layout tool. I simply digitized one branch of the flake, and then I used the Circle Layout tool to create all the other ones. In this design, I've opened up the Indian Elephant from the Hatch library. Let's have some elephants marching around in a circle. I'll scroll down a bit, do Control A to select the elephant, then I'll go to the Create Layouts toolbox and choose Circle Layout. Now up here on the toolbar, we have some options. Rows and columns are grayed out for this. We have a number that we can pick. We can do quite a lot. I think we'll just stick with five for now. And notice that Mirror Alternates is grayed out. We'll see why in just a moment. So now all I have to do is place my center point. And notice how, I'm as I move around, how the placement is going to change. I want them marching around in a circle and just having them kind of like touching their trunks to the foot behind them, or ahead of them. And there it is. Now if we look over here on the sequence docker, we can see that all the purple has been arranged together, all the yellow, all the red, and then so on. As you do this, it optimizes your colors for you. If for some reason you don't want to do that, say for registration reasons, group your design before applying one of the layout tools, and then it'll do each elephant entirely before it goes on to the next one. So let's undo that. Control Z. I'll select my elephant again. Control A. I'll go to Circle Layout. This time I'm going to pick an even number. And now I have mirror alternates enabled. And now I can select mirror alternates. So when we turn that on, notice what happens to our elephants here. Decide where I want to place them. And if they're overlapping, I'll get this message. And no, we don't want to merge them. There's our elephants. I'll undo that and we'll check out some other options. Control Z. Control A to select our elephant again. We can mirror copy horizontal, one side or the other, depends on where you have your cursor. I'll undo again, Control A. I can mirror copy vertical. Once again, depends on where I have my cursor. And I can mirror copy both. And undo. Control A again. Let's check into this copy array. Now, like all of our tools, there are tool tips that explain a little bit more about what you would do with this. So this is really useful if you're doing badges in a large hoop, but we'll just show you how it works. Select it, and once again, we have our extra settings up here, and now we can do rows and columns. So if I pick three rows, and four columns. I'll get this. We still have the same five colors. If it didn't do this, we would have 60 color changes in this little design. Let's undo that. Now notice when we do this copy array, we don't have this mirror options available to us. What if we do want them mirrored? Well, here are a few tricks. Press Escape. I'll do Control A. I'll mirror, copy horizontal. And now I'll select this. Copy array. This time we'll just do two and two. Two is the minimum number you can have because of the definition of an array. Zoom out a bit. There are the elephants. Now we have two rows. If we only wanted one row, we could select this bottom row and just delete it. Or if I wanted them feet to feet, I'll select that and I'll choose mirror Y up here on this toolbar. So we have a lot of possibilities with these layout tools. Is your mind swirling with ideas yet? So I want to show you one more design. This is a jar lid cover. 
and it's done as a freestanding applique, and these placements were all done with the circle layout tool. And if you want to learn more about this, there's an article on it in the Hatch blog area.